welcome me everyone to activate eSIM. If you have not set up your iPhone yet, head over to the setup mobile service screen and then skip 20 seconds forward into the video. If your iPhone is set up, you see the home screen, you see the lock screen, then the first step is I want you to open up your settings and inside of your settings, I want you to go into Wi-Fi and make sure you connect to a Wi-Fi network. Also, go into Bluetooth and make sure Bluetooth is on and your iPhone is discoverable. Once you have done this, we can now tap into either mobile service or cellular service. You are then going to see at the top, set up mobile service or set up cellular service. Tap on this. From here, regardless if you have not set up or have set up your iPhone, we're going to see the exact same screen. The first option is transfer from nearby iPhone. This will allow you to transfer a physical SIM card in your old iPhone and convert it into eSIM for your new iPhone 15. Or it will allow you to transfer the eSIM in your old iPhone and bring it to your new one. Let's first of all try transfer from nearby iPhone. Once we tap on this, on your old iPhone, you should see transfer phone number. If you don't see this prompt, then on your old iPhone, go into the settings and just make sure your Wi-Fi is on and your Bluetooth is on and your iPhone is discoverable. Once you have done this, go back and then go in to transfer from nearby iPhone. Now we see transfer phone number. Let's tap on continue. And now it's asking for verification code. If I ask you to scan a bubble on the iPhone to the left, just place your camera in the frame of your old iPhone. But it's asking for the code. So enter in the code that you have. My code will be different to yours. Unfortunately, the SIM card on my iPhone does not support being converted into eSIM. So I see your SIM is not supported. However, in your case, if your carrier is supported and all US carriers will be supported, then it will give you the option to add the phone number. It will show the phone number and just select add. And then the eSIM will be transferred from your old phone to your new phone or the physical SIM card will be converted into eSIM for your new device. If we can't do the transfer, then let's go back into the mobile service options. And instead, we're going to use the QR code. To use a QR code, your carrier will need to have sent you a QR code for your eSIM. The QR code you can see I put on my old iPhone. If you don't have a QR code, you will need to call up your carrier. Let's say you have a physical SIM, ask your carrier to convert the physical SIM into eSIM and they will either email you this QR code or they'll give you a physical piece of card with the QR code. Once you have your QR code, you need to use your new iPhone 15 to scan the QR code. And for me, is saying unable to continue because this is a sample QR code. If your QR code is valid, it will ask you to add your phone number, ask you to add the eSIM and just agree. And then the eSIM will be added to your iPhone. If you only have your iPhone 15, you cannot scan a QR code. If we go back into use QR code, if you save the QR code to your photos, you can tap into open photos and then select a photo of your eSIM QR code. Now, once the eSIM is activated, you'll have the option to turn on or off 
mobile or cellular data. If your mobile data is on, then you should have the personal hotspot option and then you can hotspot. If the hotspot is not showing up, then you will need to call your carrier and ask them to turn it on for you. We also have mobile or cellular data options. Here, you can go into data and turn on or off the 5G. You can also see your carrier name right here. And if you want to use two eSIMs, tap on add eSIM and repeat the instructions which you saw earlier in the video. You can have up to two eSIMs in your iPhone 15. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.